We can't afford to slip up, make no mistakes, you heard? Because they watching and they, and they, they want us to. Three reasons New York drill specifically failed. Drill music, whether you like it or not, has been a huge part of black music culture for the last nearly 15 years. Since around 2010, it exploded onto the scene with Chicago artists like Chief Keef, Lil Reese, and Lil Durk initially, who introduced a new form of reality rap to the world from Chicago that was so serious and deeply entrenched it drew its own audience of music fans that wanted to view the crash from a safe distance behind their internet firewalls. It became the new trap music, the new street artists. It was like watching characters from an action thriller movie, but in reality show form with social media rising right along with it. Rappers were doing crimes and posting about it soon after in brazen fashion that appealed to fans that could champion that their favorite rapper really rapped what he was doing in real life. Eventually, those rappers' storylines were being heavily followed, leading to the opening of the door for their enemies or opposition to also receive notoriety because in order to follow your favorite drill artist, you had to know who they were talking about doing these violent things too, like FBG Duck, Lil Jojo, FBG Wooski, and so on. But this form of expression was much more deeply rooted than fans realized as a whole gang war was going on behind it between the Black Disciples or BDs and the Gangster Disciples or GDs in Chicago. Real bodies were being dropped over this beef that seemed like a simple war of words on beats. As time went on, drill rap disguised itself as street rap, so most rappers that participated in street rap were beginning to be judged by the standards set by Chicago drill artists, which were you had to be willing to take it all the way to murder or have someone murdered if that's the music you wanted to promote and have fans include you in as artists they care about. Chicago Drill blew up as the next big sensation. New York rap that lost its boom bap sound since the mid to late 2000s had to adjust or continue to decline in popularity. So they too jumped on the drill music wave with a twist of heavily sampling older hit records of any genre with a hard beat drop of bass and drums as eerie as possible. I can't lie, the energy from the sound they came up with also heavily influenced by UK drill beats if nothing was intense and exciting and seemed like a fun show to go to or be around. Pop Smoke hit the scene 2018-19 off the backs of Bobby Shmurda 2014 and guys like Chef G and 22Gs and had the chance to take NY Drill to a real musical level but sadly passed away little more than a year later in 2020, killed in Los Angeles. Since then, New York Drill has taken a turn for the worse and for these reasons, failed to transition to mainstream like they were expected. What happened? Let's talk about it. It's your boy JC Stunner Growth Music. Let's get it. Take a minute to like, subscribe, and comment on who I should do next. New York Drill is a subgenre to a mixture of things from Chicago Drill to UK Drill, UK Grime to Trap Music, and Crew Music before them like the ASAP Mob. Not to mention the heavy sampling of pop music and R&B. When Bobby Shmurda released Hot Nigga in 2014, it opened the doors for young New York street rap as NY was looking to transition from the 90s and 2000s boom bap sound to something that matched their contemporaries in places like Chicago, so Bobby Shmurda and his crew GS9 was important to that transition. 22Gs would release Suburban in 2016 that took from Chicago's drill scene visually over a UK style grime beat and it blew up. Chef G on the opposite side returned with No Suburban in 2017 that pushed the NY drill scene even more and now that you had two sides to the movie in a war fans could watch and comment on, drill music in the city was on the rise. When Pop Smoke hit in 2019 with Welcome to the Party and Meet the Woo, he made it to where NY Drill elevated from just street rap to the clubs and parties giving the scene all the room it needed to expand. For a while, it did. Now in 2024, it seems it's quickly fading for these reasons. Reason number one, the death of Pop Smoke. 
One of, if not the biggest, losses to NY drill music culture was the death of Pop Smoke. Not only was he a superstar in the making in less than two years being on the rap scene, he actually made original music that wasn't tied down in copyrights, and those songs were not just for the streets, but for mainstream consumption as well. Pop Smoke, like 50 Cent, was a well-rounded artist from the start that had all the qualities of not just a music standout, but a leader as well. A part of the problem with NY Drill is currently it has no real leadership someone to show the way and also open doors of opportunity himself for everyone to follow behind. He had music for the streets where he was well respected even before rap. He had music for the clubs, radios, and party functions, which was different from just about every other drill artist. And he had music for the females who loved Pop Smoke. Add to that, which in itself makes a superstar, he also didn't take himself so serious and had dance moves that took over and became staple moves in drill music and black culture currently. I can't say enough about the qualities of a superstar he had. Sadly, he never got to even release an album, just two mixtapes, Meet the Woo and Meet the Woo 2, that were highly successful, featuring songs like the platinum Welcome to the Party, Dior, Christopher Walking, Shake the Room, and War. February 19th, 2020, he was killed after robbers entered an Airbnb he was renting and attempted to rob him, leading to him being shot and left for dead. After he passed, music was released and did well, like his debut album July 2020 that went two times platinum and number one, and his second number one album July 2021. He meant a lot to the drill scene and could have single-handedly extended the hype of New York drill by himself. Losing him initiated the decline. Reason number two, no other superstars. Without Pop Smoke, a void was left that created a black hole in NY drill that none of its artists could close or control ever since. Well, not quite. We did get K Flock in May 2020, who also had the qualities of potentially being a superstar to the newer generation as he matched their mood and behavior for better or worse. He also was respected in the streets and he could actually rap and make songs for the club. In short, K Flock had a glow about him that made him stand out as the next big thing in NY Drill. But in less than two years of being out, he was locked up for a shooting that happened in Harlem, New York outside a barbershop when he shot and killed Oscar Hernandez in the neck in what looked to be self-defense. While in Rikers, he picked up a RICO charge with his Sevside DOA crew and also the feds picked up his shooting case, meaning we don't know how long they'll keep the budding star behind bars. What we do know, it'll be long enough for drill music to completely fade from popularity. Losing him also hurt artists like Dougie B, B-Love, Set the Trend, Shy E.K., and more not having what was seen as the drill leader around to stir the pot with guys like D-Thing G's from the RPT gang who also was locked up in the middle of he himself making his own wave to compete with K Flock. The two were the next reality stars of Drill, on opposite sides rumored to even be related, making an interesting story to follow. They both had star potential, so losing them to prison hurt the scene a lot. D-Thing G's was released early 2024 from conspiracy charges back in 2022, and in that span having him and K-Flock gone, not to mention Chef G and Sleepy Hollow, who were also arrested long enough to hinder the wave. NY Drill Music was left to people like I Spice and Fabio Foreign, who both fell off or never really made hot music in Ice's case, and a bunch of sub tier rappers that are okay but present no real superstar power or influence to lead the next wave. Reason number three, no real future in Drill. I'm not sure if it's because of the losses we spoke about or the lack of stars left that hurt the future of Drill the most, but in my opinion, Drill music in itself looks like it was never meant to have the longevity of other subgenres hip hop has experienced, like conscious rap, gangster rap, mafioso rap, street rap, snap music, lyrical rap, trap music, and so on. 
The biggest problem is how much drill music actually costs an artist to make and not financially, but cost as in real life consequences. As mentioned, drill music was created behind real street wars that were for the first time so openly talked about in the music that drove fan expectation for artists to actually do the killings, take the drugs, and commit the crimes they speak about in the music. If you aren't, those fans move on to the next crash out who is. That leads to either yourself being killed, overdosing, or locked away for the prime of your career window. All the big artists the streets actually believe end up that way. Except guys like Chief Keef who left the street side of drill a long time ago, or Lil Durk who was always smart about his involvement in the streets who's also not just a drill artist. It costs your life or your freedom to be a drill artist and creates a loss for the fans seeing their favorite artists taken away so soon. The stars either die or go to jail. Then what? All in all, and why drill artists now have to evolve and make different music that transcends just the street side of it like Pop Smoke did, or change their style again, which takes the making of a special artist. It was exciting while it lasted, but for these reasons, New York Drill specifically has failed. Salute, much respect, it's your boy JC Stunner Growth Music, and I'm out.